Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Thurks and welcome back to Outer Wilds Echoes of the Eye. I'm still trying to figure out which direction we're going to go in today. There's like two or three things that we could do or that I want to do. Tell a lie, one of those things I really, really don't want to do. In the last episode we found a reel that uh, essentially told us that we're going to have to go back into the sleeping world and we're going to have to turn off the lights. Nope. <laughs> you know my feelings on that. That place gives me the heebie-jeebies. I'm very much going to try and avoid going back there for a little while, so you can look forward to me returning there later on in the series, but for now I feel like there's a lot of other stuff that we could explore first. We are going to have to go to the sleeping world, but in a few different places. So I think today I'm either going to have a look at whatever that porthole thing was on the external of the stranger while we first get there. And if that leads somewhere, fantastic. If it doesn't, what we're going to do, we'll go to probably that first village in the stranger and access the sleeping world there and see what that's like. Because I can cope with that because I don't know what I'm expecting. It could be worse than the the gorge or it could be better i don't know we'll find out we'll find out the probably the next episode or the episode after we are going to be doing a smell the pines episode so for those who like the slower pace episodes there's one for you in the meantime though guys let's get started first part of call we're going to go have a look at the outside of the stranger we saw a reel where the, the, there was something, one of like the little porthole type things on the the outside of the stranger was glowing green. They they put something there. Only problem is I don't know which side of the stranger it is, so we're gonna have to go there, try our luck, and then failing that we'll go to the opposite side. So we'll have a look. It might be that hull breach is what it's maybe referring to. So we found the slide burning room, and. Uh, a room full of burned side reels piled next to a strange device. I found a hidden side reel that shows a container marked with a glowing symbol being handed to a shadowy figure. The lights are extinguished and the figure carries the container into a secret passage behind a mural of a large tree. Which is what's playing there on the left. I don't know what that container is but it's got the the symbol of one of the seals on it so i'm guessing that's where we're gonna have to go to unlock the sarcophagus thing that we've seen which i'm not particularly looking forward to i'll be completely honest we saw the abandoned temple this isn't the burnt temple this is different abandoned temple marked the symbol of a burning slide reel it can be accessed from a passage in the hidden gorge there is an interface upstairs that can be used to line up symbols in a vertical sequence and I don't know what that sequence is yet. It is strange to me that they would have a temple dedicated to that act. I definitely feel like this used to be a temple to the eye. There is still a mural to the eye inside. But it almost feels like once they discover what they discovered, they, they repurpose this place, this holy, wholesome place. And they repurpose it into something terrible. And that seems to be a recurring theme in this DLC. It, it feels like the, the base game teaches you to deal with fear. You know, to not let that fear overcome you, to conquer that fear, to go into the darkness regardless, which is what we're going to have to do. This very much feels like this is showing us what happens if the opposite happens, if you let your fear control you. Now, I'll admit, when I went into that burning room... I felt angry. Not in a kind of, oh my god, I hate Outer Wilds, this game sucks kind of anger, like nerd rage. I felt like a genuine kind of cold, quiet loathing. And I think for me, because I'm such a big fan of like stories and remembering, you know, my dad used to say that photography is the art of memory so for me it's, it's a bit like if i found i don't know a dark corner of my dad's life somewhere like i don't know he's part of some gang or something and then me going and burning all his photographs 
it's not just photographs you're burning, it's it's memory. These are things that can't be recovered afterwards. And that's what's upset me about this room, is that these people saw something so horrific, it shook them to their core to the point where they felt the need to erase generations, probably, of memories, of loving memories, of hopeful memories, of the sad memories, but memories nonetheless. And now they're gone. And that did genuinely make me feel quite upset. And that's new for me to, to have that feeling in an Outer Wilds kind of way. I'm used to all the other myriad of emotions we feel, but not that. The reel I found in the slide burning room shows container marked with a glowing symbol. Oh, we've, we've, we've just been there. We've seen that. The figure carries container in secret passage. Did I just read that? I thought I, I thought I read that, but whatever. Hull breach. Find a slide reel in the hidden gorge. This show is an explosion blowing a hole in the side of the stranger. I didn't really notice that it was a an explosion per se. But that might be our way into some cool, like, extra area. So we're definitely going to have a look at that. We'll mark the stranger. And we will go and have a good look regardless. See what kind of goodies we can find. What the stranger has to offer us. And away we go again. I'm going to be so upset when one day I have to stop doing this. You know, when I have to stop taking off from Timber Hearth several times a week. I'll have to keep coming back to it in my own time. I feel like this is one of those silly games that I never really expected to affect me. And now it will be with me for the rest of my life. So, let's go and have a look. It looks like it was going to be one of these, right? Are my lights on? Or they, yeah, my lights are on, they're just pretty dim. So it's going to be either that one or that one. <laughs> wait, 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 that looks like one of the like fire extinguisher things. Like, you know, the thing that sits on top of one of the fires? Land, damn you. Because centrifugal force is still in play because we're spinning. What's doing the heepy jeepy creepy banging and clanging? Right. What are you doing in here, boys? You did something silly, didn't you? <laughs> did you. Did you maybe try and. stop the fire? Oh. oh. Oh! I know where we are. This is in the Hidden Gorge. This is that room we saw. Oh! What's in these rooms? Okay, this is some kind of like memory room. Is this the vibes I'm getting from this is kind of like uh, have you ever played Fallout 4? There's that place that you can go in Fallout 4 in Good Neighbor or wherever it's called, and you can kind of why do I need to look? Why do I need to look? Yeah, you can go into it and then it's kind of like meant to be like a memory kind of den. That's the vibe I'm getting from this. Right. Got a reel that I'm presuming is going to teach me how all of this fancy tech works. 
Don't lock that door behind me. That would be probably the most silly thing that I've done yet. Okay, so I've actually got like a little bit of a shortcut into here, which is quite neat. I can kind of skip that whole first section now. I wasn't expecting to come back here today. I was expecting, honestly, to go to um, the, the first little settlement. I can't remember the name of it. I know this is a hidden gorge, and the other one's got a name, but I can't remember it. Something like the Cinder something or other. The Cinder Isles, maybe. I'll find out. Later me will know. Oh, I need to go get a lamp. Then I can hopefully see what those little pods are for. And if something terrifying is going to happen to me while I'm in there. I'll take this lantern, thank you very much. Also, I've realised where that little kind of blue artifact is over there. I'm pretty sure that's because I've locked onto this stranger, but now we're inside the stranger. So it's just kind of going... I don't know what to do. Right. So there's a lantern, an artifact, and a lit artifact. Oh, is this um just testing it? Oh, this is the one that's gonna blow up. Ah, this is them um, designing it. Oh, it's a laboratory. He's nodding. Oh, did you see them smile? Okay, that's them testing their different tech then. Oh. That was actually really quite awesome. I think that's the first time I've watched one of their video reels and not been terrified of them. Like you actually saw the smile there. You saw the, the, the hope. I am now, however, going to have to go in there and see if I can light that fire. But I don't know because the fire is unlit. Right? And I don't know how to get it to light. Or can I? I don't think I can, actually. I don't think there's any kind of... Like, controls or anything? Is that all this is? Is this just telling me, yeah, that, like, yeah, this is, this is where they made it. This is where they figured it out. <laughs> I should not be doing what I'm about to do, but I've seen them do it. This is one for Sergei. This is... <laughs> you can't show me what it does and then leave me one to play with and not expect me to do it. I'm very sorry, my freaklet friends. You're all about to become very crispy. For science! <laughs> I was starting to think that, wait, what were they on about? It worked. That didn't work. <laughs> that did not work. Cool.
One crispy Harthian coming up. Right, let's go and do the original plan now. I've seen that. Look, I'm just going to check the, the ship's log, but I'm pretty sure what we just found there is I'm um, discovering how to make things, right? So the, the whole breach has now gone into damaged laboratory. Laboratory with three test chambers. The second chamber is badly damaged and can be entered through a whole breach inside of the stranger. I saw a vision like recording of someone picking up an artifact and going to sleep in front of a green fire. The rest of the vision was distorted and became difficult to make out, but a flame seemed to appear inside the artifact. I found a side reel that shows three experiments conducted with three different artifacts. The third experiment appears to have been a success. Cool. So they tried the lamp. The lamp didn't work, but it was safe. Um, the second one did what well, you just saw happen, so that was fun. Um, and then we have the third and final, the the one that actually worked, though the one that's focused at least. I need to know what this fire is. I need to know how they're doing this. Because, like I said last time we flew here, well, not last time, the time before we flew here. You need different things to make a fire, so what is fueling it? I'm still going with like it's something like soul fire is the vibe I'm getting, you know? That's just kind of where my mind goes, but again that could just be like bias from playing a lot of fantasy and like Warhammer and stuff like that. Ah, uh, but still so many questions. I feel like I'm less scared of them now. Don't be wrong, when we go back to that hidden gorge I'm going to absolutely just evacuate my bowels probably the first time I see one of them things because as soon as I turn off the lights right in that little shack they're all gonna know about it they're gonna be like hang on someone just turned off the light um which is not good and they're probably gonna come looking for me that's how where my brain's going with that anyway I could be completely wrong but we'll see. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here and then we're going to grab the artifacts and then we're going to go and see this version or this sleepy version of this place. Which I'm not thrilled about. I'm not thrilled about. I'd rather not do that. But the, my alternatives are running out. I'll be honest. Oh, it's not even here that I need to be. I need... Or is it? No, there'll be a mural in there. There'll be a mural. I don't think we've been into that mural. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no. Thank you. Yeah, I don't... Have we even been to this mural? I don't think we have. Yoink. I didn't even notice that that's what that building was, because we've seen... Right, so we've seen the one in the big tower. We've now seen the one in the Hidden Gorge. I don't think we ever opened up this mural, right? No, we didn't. We didn't! I am so thick! Right. Nothing bad in this one. Boy, they're all awful. In for a penny, I suppose. I still hate this so much. I cannot quite put into words how much I hate this. Let's get some lights. I mean, it's pretty. It's incredibly pretty. And incredibly freaking dark.
Do I even wanna? Oh, no, thank you. I don't even think I should be scared necessarily, but I just am. I really, really am. Ooh, why are you coming over here like that? You on autopilot? Ooh. I don't remember asking anyone else's opinion. There's some kind of fire over there. Oh man, this is... Not good. Music? whole other life in here. I'm... This is the tower. Oh, so I can go to each of the places? Oh, cool. Okay, okay, okay. So this is me going through. So this should take us to the gorge then. I hope. Yes. Okay. So there's a rev there's a raft that goes the whole way round. And I'm guessing then maybe the conceal is so I don't just lose the flame. If I like jump off into the water. Okay, let's just get another raft. So there must be like a way down from there, but I don't think there's another way up. Let's go back to the first place and I, I'm gonna have another quick look around. Oh, I am so scared. I'm so scared to lose my fire because if I jump in the water, right, the fire is gonna go out and then what? And I don't really want an answer to that. That's a, that's a hypothetical. I don't actually want to know. I forgot there was a fourth place. I forgot there was a fourth place. But now I'm really kind of intrigued. Look at you. I I need mm, I need to know. I can always get the raft afterwards, right? I need to know. What is this? 
Why is it so peaceful? I just can't fathom what it is that they would need to lock away. That's so trippy as hell. Whatever it is, it's gone. Where did you take it? Where did you take it? Oh, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't want to do that again. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I can move out of it. Where? Where, 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 where did you take it? Well, this has got to be the same shape, right? Or maybe the only way in... Oh, no, the only way in is going to be falling asleep there, isn't it? This is... We're on top of a cliff. We're on top of a cliff. Yeah, there's no way in. But it looks so pretty, this side. The, the other side, it looks like... It looks terrifying. It looks... Haunting. But here it feels... Warm and safe, which is really strange for me. It's really quite strange. It's some kind, it's it looks like a coffin, right? So, my guess is that this is some kind of tomb, it's got to be some form of tomb. It's the only thing that makes sense. Then why lock it? Why would you shackle it in the waking world? Why are they all shackled in the waiting in the waking world? That's probably a better question. Ah, there's one of them. There was one of them. There was just straight up one of them. There was just straight up a free clip. That's where that light is. That's what that's where the light is. But now I feel compelled to go and say hello. Because surely it can't be that bad. <laughs> I mean it's definitely gonna be that bad. Right? But then Surely, if I, if they get me right, they get me once, and then I learn from it, and then I know, don't get got again. But what if they are friendly? You know? <laughs> okay, that's, that's the water, that's fine. Because there's one of them playing music. I want to know about the music. No! No, 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 no! Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. Ah. Oh. Damn you, water. I forgot this place got flooded. I was just getting my big brave socks on as well. I was going for it. I 
I was finally going for it. I could have sworn that tower falls over at some point. Gosh, damn it. Well, now I'm going to have to go over there. Right, I'm going to have to. I need to, I need to continue this. I need to get back in. I don't, I don't. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm caught. This is why you don't go in the water. This is why you don't go in the water. This, this is why you don't go in the water. Jesus Christ, I'm so lucky I didn't just die then. Can I? No! Ah, sugar. Oh, that thing, the, the legs were damaged. You can see that the legs are damaged. Is there anything different going on in here? Is everyone still intact down here? Everyone's still mostly accounts for. <sighs> Why are they all shackled? That's one thing that's still not sitting right with me and that I've noticed before, but I think I've only just realized, you know, the significance of why are they shackled? What happens if they are not? Do I particularly want to know? First things first for me. Can I see any lanterns anywhere? There's a thing down there. Is that one up there? I can't tell. I can't tell if that's one sitting up there. I... I really want to know. At the same time, I just... Really... Really don't. Above me. There was one above me. How bad is it going to be if they see me? How bad is it? How bad could it be? Come on, Sturks, you were being big and brave a minute ago. Where's your big boy socks gone? Where's your big boy socks gone? Oh, is that chess? That's free clip chess. Walking about. Surely they can hear me walking about, right? They would have done something about that if I was a. <laughs> I want to go down there. I just. I want to go down there, but that's quite a long fall. Yeah, well, they came this far. Well, that's what happens when you die in the snoozy world. You just wake up again. That's okay. I can... 
I've answered my own question. That is how... Okay, so we know what happens now. I might get a little bit spooked. By and large, it ain't gonna be anything particularly bad, you know? Can I... Just conceal this and then swim? No! <laughs> oh, okay. Don't go in the water, even if your flame is concealed. So the concealment is purely for light effect, and it's not to protect my fire from water. God damn it, you freaklets! I just want to go down there. I just want to. I want to see some things. But I don't want to see who's making the noises. But I do. Doing your little stompy stomps, your little patrolling. You know. Oh, well. Oh! <sighs> this game does not want me to have any fun today, does it? Right. Out the bottom, I guess! Looks like we're running out of time anyway. There's so much to see in there. There is so much to see. I'm getting braver. That much is certain. I'm definitely not as inherently afraid as I maybe once was. I am still very much afraid, don't get me wrong. But I'm overcoming it. And I I need so much more. I need to know everything this game can teach me. I need everything. And also I want to know how close does the supernova get? Because we are far, far away. Hello, old friend. In my head, I think maybe we're not getting recalled by the stranger. We're still very much connected to the twin project. The twins are right next to the star, you know, they've been enveloped in that supernova. It's safe. So I think it's just as simple as we're just connected to the twin project still. There's nothing too freaky going on here. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. The more I learn about this stranger, the, the more I need to know more. It's the same feeling that I'm sure you're familiar with in the base game. I'm still terrified of the Freaklets, but I don't know if they can actually get to me. I think I can definitely alert them to my presence. Um, if in the Hidden Gorge, I think it's like the Endless Valley or something is like the sleep equivalent. There's one of them watching slide reels. But there, you know, if I shone my torch on that screen, I guarantee they would know I was there. 
I don't know what would happen then. That might be a, a thing to do in a, like an experiment video sometime. I just feel bad for intruding. Because that's what it feels like. It feels like I am, in, I am intruding. This is their place. It's their safe space. It's their refuge. And they have gone through quite great lengths to stop me getting there. But at the same time, there's a lot of reels. And the only reels that seem to have been left are ones that tell me how to get there. And that could just be a gameplay point of view. It could just be, you know, a way of saying, you know, the, the devs saying, oh, they just missed them. But also, I feel like they would put too much thought into this for it to just be a fluke. So maybe they do want something to find it. Maybe they do want that. They care enough about remembering that someone else can come along and remember the bits that maybe they're not proud of. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe this is them teaching us not to do what they did. That it's okay to be scared. We've got a lot to think about. We've got a lot left to explore. And I can't wait to explore every single bit of it. In the meantime though guys, that's all I have time for today. Oh boy. I keep falling in love with this game over and over again. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I have been Sturks. You have been incredible. And I will catch you all later for the next part of our little adventure.